The tandoor is a traditional oven shaped like an upright cylinder or bell, and it can be used for grilling, roasting, and baking. It's also one of Vani Pariachi's favorite cooking styles, as you're about to see when she prepares her special menu to celebrate Father's Day. Vani and I both hold our dads very close to our hearts, and today we decided to honor all fathers by creating a Father's Day feast. Vani, what's on the menu? Our first dish is tandoori prawns. First in is our garam masala, some hung yogurt. What exactly is hung yogurt? It's plain yogurt that we hang in the muslin cloth overnight. So all the juices fall out, so it becomes a very thick curd. So it's similar to Greek yogurt, but more thicker. And some mustard oil because it adds that beautiful fragrance. Not too much because it can turn bitter in the cooking process. Some ginger garlic. The dry spice is ground cumin, coriander, some Kashmiri spice for the bite, and turmeric. A good pinch of salt, some lemon juice. So that's perfect and ready to be skewered. And Vani, what if we don't have a tinder oven at home? You can skew it into a society stick and cook it in the oven or under the grill, or you can actually put it on the braai. But, you know, I remember braai's Father's Day, Dad and his brothers were cooking away on the braai and Mum's in the kitchen cooking biryani. I'm going to put one more. So I'm going to pop this into the tandoor oven and bring the next dish out. Lovely. The prawns mustn't be overcooked, so eight to 10 minutes in the oven should be perfect. Oh, thank you for tidying up. You're welcome. So the next dish is nimbu, the yellowtail, when we're going to make a quick marinade. The marinade is made up of hung yogurt, mm -hmm. just a good dollop, a little bit of garam masala, lovely, a little bit of ginger garlic, and then I'm going to add some mustard oil, ground cumin, ground coriander, some Kashmiri spice, Turmeric, and because this is fish and you want a beautiful lemony, and nimble is lemon, we're going to add a little bit of mango powder to get that beautiful tartness. Yum. I'm going to grab a lime from you, and then I'm going to do two cheeks. Love the smell of lime. <sighs> Some salt. Oh, I'm going to add a beautiful fresh red chilli. We're not going to cut it very fine, so it's good big flakes, just for that added zing. And now the fish. I'm gonna cut beautiful, big steaks. We're gonna get that all nice and marinated. So I'm gonna use my fingers in there. Yes, go for it. That's gonna be a lot easier. You smell that already, that flavors. It's really beautiful. All of that marinade, just work it through. This is ready for the tandoor oven, so I'm going to pop this in the oven and bring out the next dish. And I'll clean up in the meantime. The nimbu takes a little longer than the prawns, with 10 to 15 minutes being ideal. Thank you for cleaning up and setting up. You're so welcome. <laughs> I have pre-cooked some lamb for us. So we've got some yogurt. Okay. Also hung yogurt again. The next spice is kasturi murthy. Kasturi murthy is dried fenugreek leaves and all it does is it adds that beautiful, full rounded herby flavour in. Yes. Whole spice of cinnamon stick, so I'm going to put quite a few sticks. Got some green cardamom pods. And Vani, why don't we crush these? Because it slow cooks overnight, so if I had to put the ground spice, then it'll all go to mush. And you want the flavour to be releasing as it cooks through the night. So I've got some Kitchen King, which is a spice that we make here in the kitchen. I've never heard of a Kitchen King. Well, that's why we call it King, because it's the king of spice. <laughs> I've got some meat masala as well. My favourite ingredient, gara masala. A little bit of mustard oil goes in there once again. Ginger garlic, but I'm going to put quite a dollop full of ginger garlic and ground cumin, coriander, some Kashmiri spice, turmeric and mango powder, and some salt. Good thing I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Not at all. And then once that is well marinated, you can put this in the oven at home on 120 for 12 hours. It doesn't fall off the bone like it normally does when you cook lamb shang. So you can transfer that into the pot and can we scrape up all that marinade, please? 
I'm just going to add about 500 mils of water just to get the gravy going. So let me take this away and while you clean up, I will bring the cooked lamb through. Fantastic. Okay, so as you can see, here's the lamb that I've cooked in the oven for 12 hours. And I'm going to skewer that, but I'm going to do it very gently because I don't want it to fall apart. As I take this to the oven, I've set out the ingredients for our next dish, which is gulab jamun, my dad's absolute favorite dessert. And mine too. <laughs> Great, so I'll see you in a bit. The pre-cooked marinated lamb spends a final 15 minutes in the oven, being turned every five minutes. Oh, thank you, that's fabulous. For our gulab jamun, we're gonna first do the syrup. Put the flour in the center, and then mix in the milk powder and some baking powder the green cardamom. Mix that in really well. And with the paneer, I'm going to actually break it down. So the paneer is like what you would traditionally use butter to make short pastry, to give it that breadcrumb effect. And then I'm going to make a well in the center. And if you could mix while I pour the milk in, perfect. I think that's a good enough consistency and I'm going to bring that together with my hands. This is my dad's absolute favorite dessert. So you want a very soft, pliable dough. I'm just gonna knead this a bit to activate the baking powder in the dough, and also to bring all those ingredients in together. Just to take off a little ball and roll it on the palms of your hand. And then I'm just gonna set it down, and we could do a few more of these. So I think we have enough gulab jamun balls, so let's pop that into the fryer. The oil is at quite a low temperature. You don't want it too high or else it'll start blistering too quickly. And you want to slow cook it, but also we're gonna cook it in the hot syrup as well. So it just needs a few minutes of cooking just to give it some color. I'm going to pop that into the syrup. And you want to get them in there when they're quite hot so they absorb the syrup. Yes, because gulab jamun is a beautiful, moist dessert. It's like oozy sweet so but Karishma I can smell that the tandoor dishes are almost ready so let me go and rescue them and if you can please bring the gulab jamun in we can plate up I'd love okay, to see you in a second Karishma and our Father's Day feast is completed with Pima Parata what makes this different to normal paratha? It is filled with lamb mince, red onions, chilli, chopped coriander, all of Dad's favourite ingredients. Bani, I think you'll agree with me when I say that fathers hold our hands for a little while, but hold our hearts forever. Very true. And with that, we'd like to wish all the fathers out there a wonderful Father's Day. Bani, should we dish up? Yes, please. Bani prepared a feast, but any of these dishes would make a Dad's heart happy on any day of the year. 